Good morning to all traders and welcome to uh, today's Wednesday the 17th uh, of July market insights video provided to you by Orbex. Today we're going to talk about gold and oil. Gold is falling because U.S. retail sales seem to be adding a softer tone um, against the uh, Fed's uh, rate cut expectations now because the numbers, of course, came out much better than expected and that is allowing investors um, be becoming a bit more risk appetite and um, selling the safe haven gold. Oil on the other side is also falling, hand to hand gold and oil, but this is because there is some sort of um, word, um, not war, I mean there's no war, it's just the fear of uh, tensions, you know, the fear of war. There is some tension de-escalation between US and Iran. Following comments of Iran's foreign minister uh, in an interview with uh, NBC where he seems to be offering uh, a seat back on the table to the U.S. so they can negotiate. Um, I mean, what Iran is asking pretty much is negotiate the sanctions, but I'm not sure that would be really the first thing on the table, to be honest. But at least it can, it can start a round of negotiations, which uh, both Mr. Trump and Pompeo seemed willing and open um, uh, taking the softer stance against Iran, and this is, of course, adding uh, pressure on the uh, prices of oil um, because uh, also in the longer term, if we had a um, Iran de-sanctioning, de let's say, that would uh, mean that uh, Iran will uh, start producing um, more oil and of course that would uh, be uh, negative for the oil prices. I want to uh, go quickly on the economic calendar. Today is CPI day for the UK, Europe, Canada. Okay, so we should be seeing uh, a lot of volatility on those currencies as well as the US pyramids in the US and uh, the week's EIA crude oil stocks. I want to start with gold on the daily. We've been talking about this move and now we've been talking about this correction uh, we're still moving since last week within contained limits. Um, and I see this actually as a uh, triangle, to be honest, which is likely to end a little bit over lower for wave four, and then we should be looking for a shoot up higher to break the previous high. Uh, on the four hour chart, um, I, I see this happening in two ways. One, we have a throw back out here and prices move lower, okay? Or we have a throw back down here and prices move higher. Either could happen. We could just even have a, a break all the way up, but I doubt that would be the case. We should probably see prices moving down to the maximum 1446, or the lowest we could see is this ascending channel trend line Anything below that would invalidate this move. On the one hour, we are, are looking at first reaching the 1378 in case we break the below that level and then we move uh, towards 1346. That would be the second level to watch for a uh, possible uh, continuation. If that breaks, we're looking at 1332 or latest 1303, 13 level. Uh, to validate bulls. Otherwise, we're looking at prices uh, heading back lower. On oil, uh, we've also had these uh, move to the downside and we are moving in a correction with ABC and expecting a wave C now to end near uh, 32, 37, or in case it comes out to be a flat, around 43. Following these wave A and wave B, we're now looking at another wave C, which is most likely to end as an impulse to the downside with a five wave move. If that is not the case, we're probably looking at an ABC or even another impulse, but in a shorter time frame. Uh, but to be honest, I really see this as an impulse to the downside and uh, breaking below that level. But we'll see how this uh, how this uh, pans out in the future, of course. Uh, on the four hours chart, uh, as I said, again, we are on wave C, right? So we are um, 
Now this has to be an impulse, where one wave, uh, wave two, with invalidation, the break above this. We want to see prices now breaking below that level, of course. Now we're moving in a correction over here, okay, with wave one, two, three, four, and five being truncated. That missed the level I was expecting to, but we're still moving within the descending uh, limits, the descending channel limits, okay? We missed that level, there's no retest, which to me uh, makes this a little bit more bearish. So at the same time, we broke outside this uh, shorter time frame uh, ascending channel, and that means that prices could come down here, correct a little bit higher, and then move all the way down to 50, 67, and then lower uh, for the longer time frame decline. On the one hour quickly as well. Uh, as I said, uh, we missed uh, this uh, move to the upside up here. I was expecting actually prices to come over here around 62.50 or so, but we missed that. It seems like now we're breaking below with a potential move to 58 or so for a correction and then breaking below that level. Uh, the 58, 54.60, 5280 uh, on our watch list. So I want to thank you for being with us for another day. And as always, want to remind you to visit our blog. It's where we cover the latest news, provide trading ideas, and all the necessary tools a trader needs.